Hey there, it's Duke Ferguson from Unleashed Potential. If you're looking for information on the X-Dog vest, then don't go to any other YouTube videos. This is the one for you. I've actually created a 19 lesson course that's completely free and you can sign up in the description box below. We'll give you that information. If you're looking for the information on how to use this vest, I, it's a vest I believe in. And the reason I created this course is just to make it safe and fun for you and your dog because I believe in the vest and I use it all the time. So I've pulled just a couple of clips, a couple of sessions out of my course and made this YouTube video for your convenience. Hope you enjoy it. And if you really like it, um, sign up for the free course. There's no obligation. Before we get into it, if you could just give me a little thumbs up or if you can hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And that'll help me be here on a regular basis to create more things for you and more courses. So enjoy the video. Now what we're gonna do is I always say, walk before you run, <laughs> right? So we're just gonna walk and run, but I'm gonna do it on lead. And the reason is if he's not scared of the shoot, but he starts motion and the shoot's following him, you never really know, okay? So just take this extra little step it might take you a moment, might take you a couple days, a week. Go with your dog's um, nerve level, or confidence level. Okay, so you're gonna have that. We're just gonna walk and let the shoot drag behind your dog. If you don't have obedience, if you don't have a lot of control on the dog, make this, you know, one of the ways they eat. This same as putting the vest on meant fun food freedom and interaction and balls and toys. Now just drag in the shoot and literally just do this. He seems pretty fine, but you see him checking it out. So he's noticing this. And a lot of people don't notice this, and I have seen some YouTube videos where people put them on the dog, and the dog's just about ready to take off. They get a little nervous. It's important that they overcome this. I wouldn't want to do it off leash when they're running. That's all, so safety. Now, just walking around, he seems pretty good, right? Hey, buddy, good job. Yeah, all right, you don't care about that now. So it doesn't take long, and I've seen dogs really nervous at first. All right, so now we're gonna walk, let's run. I don't think he's gonna have an issue. This is how it should go for the majority of dogs, but hey, if your dog is nervous, it's okay. Do this first. Yeah, so now that your dog is used to the gear, used to the vest, used to the parachute, we're gonna put him into motion, okay? One of the things, if your dog doesn't like toys and won't go after toys, I'm gonna to show you several ways that we're gonna start him going out in motion. He's not really food driven, so, well, he likes this one. He might show me up today. Just little spurts at first is what I recommend, not long distances. Just to take it to that next step to make sure it doesn't freak them out when they go into fast motion. Trust me, these little steps are only one or two sessions at a time for the most majority of dogs, but you, you want to be here. You don't want your dog taking off on you. I, I've seen it. So we want to prevent that from ever happening. So I'm just going to throw it out. He runs and he gets this actively chasing him right away. Capote, come here. Good boy, buddy. And he comes back. And then he comes back. And uh, I don't see any problems. Break. Let him run that way. Hey, good job. One thing I really like about the vest is, notice it's, it's not easily, it doesn't tangle easily, which is really good. Um, I expected this to be tangling up quite a bit when we started using it at first, but not that common. And even if it does go underneath, it's simple to get out. All right, so I'm really, I'm really glad of what I see here with Capone. We're gonna go further now. So I'm gonna take a ball, come here, buddy. All right, if your dog had any issues going after the food, just keep doing these little stunts. So a little bit further maybe, okay. And then try a ball, a little faster. Okay, don't come, that a good boy. One of the things you do want is a dog that will come when he's called <laughs> back to you. If you don't have that, um, you might have to run, right? Right. You can see, look, it's underneath them. We didn't go a little too far. We're not going wide open with a lot of resistance. So this is okay. Now, if I was doing long running, no. so even if it's tangled, with what we're doing here, it's still setting the stage for success. He gets to experience this going under his legs. There's not a lot of tension. There's not a lot of speed. He's just gonna become really strong and confident and socially tough to this, mentally. To all this stuff, right, buddy? Yeah, good job. Break. Yeah, little tiny fetches, remember in the beginning. Good boy, Cole, come. That's a good fella. Awesome job, buddy. Out. All right, we'll take So then you're just gonna activate, break. Let him go get it. 
And then as he comes back the other way and you'll get him used to this. And basically what this does is it gets him used to the line and the, just dealing with this, yeah? Instead of just trying to run. And trust me, this is a good step. So I would do a half a dozen, oh, you got some? A dozen, half a dozen. Use the wind, yeah. And you want that shoot. Your goal is to try and get it so that it'll pop open, but then he's getting his treat, right? Boom, just like that, perfect. You can even go with the wind and see the difference. And this is gonna give you experience in the handling of what this actually does when you're going against the wind or with the wind. So throw it in all directions. There. So first session, little tiny throws. If the dog's good for it, now we'll set it up for the longer distance. You can have, if you have a dog that's stable and knows the, the parachute well, you can start some distance work with getting a dog to come to you with food, toys, tug, bite work, whatever it is. You can also do sendaways. He's my old and deaf guy, so we'll see. <laughs> there we go. And here we go. Look at him come. Look at him come. Seen years old. Pow! What a good boy. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Way to go, man. That was good. <laughs> Each time you do this, do it a little further and further away. We'll do it two more times, and I'll actually do a different direction when she can. Roxy, come. That a girl. Good job. Hey, good, good, good. Boom, okay, great success. Good sit, I'm gonna reinforce that. You don't ever walk away all the time, sit. Boxing up! Yeah, good job, buddy, woo -hoo. Hey, good girl, way to go. There, feeling the burn. <laughs> Ah, look at that. Come and get the food, baby. Now there's how you get success for the first time, fourth little rip of the egg test. Now we'll try the other guys. Yay. Ah. One thing I love to see is very happy dogs wearing two collars. Look at her, Matrix. Wowzers. Yeah. <gasps> I want the toy. Okay. Down. Down. Good. Here. Way to go, Matrix! Woohoo! Awesome job! Oh! Yeah! Oh, good job. That's a lot of work for a lot of wind actually at our back. So it's only been two runs and there's no weight in the vest yet, but wow. Good job, Matrix. You can tell she's really spent some energy there. She's panting hard. She's like I said, two, two runs down the field. The girl. So even if you weren't throwing food, your dog didn't want to go to food and you wanted to use toys for those little short open and close shoots, uh, this here, it could be straight to here. Now why the send away to the food and why the send away to the toy? Because the focus and the excitement and the arousal is right there for dog, dogs that are energetic for the most part or throwing, which we'll get into next steps. This is more controlled. It's not going to take off forever. And it's so excitable, there's less stress to occur on the back end when we do this, right? If that makes any sense. He'll be less likely to focus on it, even if there was some sort of discomfort. Because we are going quite fast with him. Sometimes you might have to take a day or two or a week just to stay in, in something like that. So, but, one him, oh, yeah, boy. All right, so those are the little explosive pops. Now he's doing good. Do you have anything to throw long-term or you can send him away to the toy? Actually, you can send them. I'll hold the toy. You go down there, send them. Okay. okay, so I'm here. You set? All right. You tell them attack. Yeah, 
Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, buddy, buddy. Oh, oh what a good boy. Woo! Good boy, Kai. Good boy, buddy. Yeah. Oh, good job. He took the jump and I was like, oh, you're too early because he can't see very well. And I reached out and he caught it. Good boy. <laughs> but he would have missed it. It's funny. <laughs> he would have missed it kind of like jumping too early for the Frisbee that's moving away. Kind of like snap, snap. So I let him catch it. I just moved it a little bit. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh boy. All right, so I really hope you enjoyed this and get good value from it, and it helps you get off uh, training with the X-Dog vest safely. If you, you did enjoy it, then be sure to sign up for the free course. There's no obligation. Um, as always, thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe. And if you're looking for dog training help with tips on any, anything else, then be sure to check out my website, dukeferguson.com or unleashedpotential.ca. And I also have on this page, I'll make available here or here, a free mini course. There's six videos for dog training advice that you can have. You can sign up for that as well. It's free. So this is a video full of free courses for you that I've created. Um, if you wanna see another video, click I've pulled another uh, X-Dog Vest swimming video. It should be on this page as well for your convenience. So I hope you really enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.